AutoAgents is an experimental open source application for an automatic agent generation experiment based on LLM. This program, driven by LLM, autonomously generates multi-agents to achieve whatever goal you set. Oh, they have a little demo here. Let's check this out. AutoAgents chat. Okay, so it's a really cool UI, similar to chat GPT. Type your message. This is a room temperature semiconductor material. To answer this question, well, they went pretty fast. So this is a really cool user interface. They invite different experts to the group, different agents. So they've made a material science expert and a language expert, plan observer. So they kind of initiate like a group chat of these AI agents and get them to work on a problem you set. It's very cool. Oh, they have an online demo. Excellent. So we don't even need to install anything. Usually these are like, yeah, this kind of installation. Clone, CD, setup, but seems like they have an online demo hosted on Hugging Face that we can just use. Um, so yeah, let's try that. This is the chat right here, okay. Generate different roles for GPTs to form a collaborative entity for complex tasks. Hello, let's do a test, hello. Okay, now we do need API keys. So I'm just gonna do that real quickly. Okay, let me bring it back. I've added all my, and we're here. It shows the keys in plain text, but it doesn't show the whole key, so it's not too big of a deal. Find the cheapest accommod accommodation in Sydney CBD on Friday. Let's see what it does. Okay, so we've got the question. Find the cheapest accommodation in Sydney for the 20th of October for one male. And now it's calling the next agent. Let's see what it calls. Come on. I've got an error. An error occurred. No API key provided. Um, okay, that sucks. It didn't do shit. See, this is my issue with a lot of these um, AI YouTubers is they just read the paper and they don't actually test the tools. That's where I'm different. <laughs> so that's why it's also shitty because I also have to spend a lot of time debugging. Yo, Jumbly, what are we doing today? Um, this is my agenda. So first I was looking at this thing called auto agents and it seemed really cool. The way it worked was actually like generates these agents itself. Instead of you defining the agents, it creates the agents based on the plan. So it generates a plan and based on the plan, it generates agents to do the plan. They have a demo on Hugging Face, which is awesome. I'd love it when they have demos on Hugging Face because I don't have to install anything and like running it on Hugging Face is easy. You just go on the website, you run it, and then all of my fans can do it too. It's super easy. The problem was it didn't work. Um, so I guess I'll just I'll just do it, you know, because this is, as I said, M Mr. Mental Puppy agrees with me. I am the tech YouTuber that actually tries these tools and doesn't just read the papers and give you like false promises, you know. We're gonna see if this actually could work. So yeah, let's go ahead and try auto agents. Get clone python set up py install seems like a pretty simple install process then we're going to configure our api key and oh we can use it dude this is cool so they provide an option to use your own api base url so this means we could use the lm studio hosted local llms with this tool which is which is amazing uh, we might, they just make it so easy that like every tool should do that. That's so cool. I'm just going to use OpenAI for now because it's a lot smarter than anything I could run locally. I'm gonna, it always seems simple until the bugs come up, says Mr. Mentor Bobby. That's exactly right. So I've asked it to find the cheapest accommodation in Sydney CBD for Friday. Put it there and let's see what it does. Investment $10. I guess that's a hard-coded budget. Okay, the task is to find the cheapest... Okay, at least it's working. Cheapest accommodation in Sydney on Friday. Um, selected roles. No existing roles were selected as there were none available. Okay, no existing, but it's creating one. So first it created a search expert, an expert in searching the internet for specific information with a tool search and summarize. Use the search and summarize tool to find information about XYZ. This is their prompt. You're an expert in the internet specific information. And then there's a comparison expert, which can compare different options and identify the best one based on specific criteria. 
language expert, expert in summarizing the results of all the steps. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see what happened here. And first, the toss to find the cheapest accommodation for Sydney on Friday. Okay, first, the search and summarize tool. I guess his name's Alex. They found numerous options. Two-star hotel for $63, three-star for 83. The summarize tool. There are a variety of accommodation options. Two-star hotel for $63, three-star hotel for 83. Okay, we use 40 cents currently, damn. This is quite expensive, I find. Okay, and then they've summarized it nice with these dot points. Two-star hotel for $63, three-star hotel for $83, four-star and above from 103 Hotel with free breakfast starting from $66. Now, I think that this is just using the initial results from Google and not actually going into the pages itself. And a lot of the times, pages like Kayak and stuff will actually post like pretty much clickbait search results. But then once you actually go into the site, you don't find a, a hotel for $63. You know what I mean? But like the tool seems pretty cool. Um, there's probably other use cases that this would be better at. Something that doesn't require going into individual pages. I don't know if this can actually save files, but we could try um, doing a... Um, okay, looks like it finished. Based on the information gathered, the cheapest accommodation in Sydney is a two-star hotel for $63. Um, I'm going to give it a task to do some coding. Create a website that says hello world. Like, can I do that? Web developer, expert in web developer, tester, language expert. Okay, so maybe it can generate code. I don't know if we can save it, but let's see what happens. Oh, so it actually tried to run the file. Did it create a file? First step to complete is write HTML code for a simple website that says hello world. This is the code it also writ. Okay, it says the code has been created. The next step is to write this code into a file. Action write file. The previous step has created the HTML code. And now the current step is to see if the hello world.html displays hello world. How is it going to do that? Where even is the file? I don't see any new files. I don't know. I think it's hallucinating. Seems like it's looping, creating, and checking. Um, yeah, it looks like this thing is just looping over the same thing. So I'm going to quit it here. And that probably concludes my testing of auto agents. I don't think it's good enough for me to recommend yet.